Hi guys, welcome back. So today, I feel a little silly doing this, but I am planting flowers in the snow and specifically poppy seeds. So poppies need a stratification or just a chill period of four to six weeks just to help get the seed going. It's a lot like tulips, any other spring bulbs. They just need a chill period to start germination. So I am planting a few different types of poppies today. I have the amazing gray Shirley poppy, which whenever I see this anywhere, I'm like, oh, I, this is my probably my favorite looking poppy. I've never grown poppies before, so this is going to be an experiment. Next one is the Shirley poppy supreme. And then I have a couple bread seed poppies. So bread seed poppies I really like because those, they have beautiful flowers, but it's the seed head after the flower blooms that I'm looking for. Um, and it looks kind of like a rattle. And those look beautiful. I think I want to save the heads for arrangements and stuff like that. So I have two different types of bread seed poppies. I have lilac peony and a rattle poppy. And then I also have a black swan poppy. So pretty much all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around, sprinkle these on top of the snow. That will provide the chilling period that it needs. Um, I live in a zone three, so I still have at least four to six weeks of cold. <laughs> if you are in a warmer zone, that might not work for this year per se, but you can save it for next year. Also, if you don't have weather where it gets cold enough for the chill period, you can go ahead and just pop these in the refrigerator and do it that way for four to six weeks. So I'm just gonna get started. Keep in mind, poppies like full sun. So as you're um, kind of looking around your area, make sure you have a spot that's full sun. And in the winter time, all the leaves are gone. So everywhere looks like full sun. <laughs> So just kind of keep in mind, look around, think, okay, once the leaves come out, will this still be in full sun? So I'm just going to get started. Also keep in mind where when you're sprinkling this, they need to come into contact with dark soil once the snow melts. So if you have thick mulch or landscape fabric, that won't work. You'll have to make sure it's in a spot where it gets um, direct contact to soil. And that's what the seeds kind of look like for this black swan. Okay, this is kind of right at the entrance of my driveway and I thought it'd be really pretty to pull in and just see this display of poppies right here. So I'm literally just gonna pinch and throw, <laughs> that's all I'm doing. One done, four more to go. Okay, I scattered them around a little bit quicker than what I was planning on because it's still really cold here. <laughs> and the snow is still up to my knees and I didn't wear my snow pants, so I'm cold. So I'm going back inside. But I am super excited to see how this works. I did a nice little sprinkling around our fountain there and then just at the beginning of the driveway goes around in a loop on either sides so it'll just be super pretty let me know in the comments if you have planted your poppies in the snow and done it this way it works out perfect because poppies need light to germinate so as the snow melts and temperatures warm up the snow will water the seeds it'll have light it'll just rest right on top of the ground so yes i'm excited so let me know if you've done this let me know what your favorite poppy variety is and I will see you next time. Bye.